Hi, I'm Mo, and I'm trapped in Fallout. Today, I'm going to show you a 100% walkthrough of Riley's Rangers, as well as the unique minigun known as Eugene. Now, before we start, you get it as a reward as a result of completing a quest, which is started by going to the Underworld. The Underworld is located in the Museum of History. If you're not sure how to get to the Museum of History, then go ahead and follow my how to get to the underworld video as it will give you clear instructions on how to get to the museum of history as part of this mission you will encounter a lot of super mutants and other creatures so it is best that you are well geared up before actually even attempting to do this one but i should assure you that it is well worth the effort also before going and actually speaking to riley Make sure you have a fission battery because you will need it later on when we need to activate an elevator after we find Riley's Rangers. Now, let's begin. Now that we're in front of the museum, go ahead and go inside. And you will appear in this reception-like area. Go north and you will appear in this large lobby-like area. Go ahead and enter the door that is directly north of you. And as you do that, keep on heading down this way. And we want to go and speak to someone that's unconscious. So go ahead and enter the chop shop. What you want to do is speak to Riley, who is currently unconscious. I'm afraid she's going to be out for a while. She's not well at all. As soon as you try to wake her up, you will be interrupted by Dr. Barrows. What you want to do is ask the good doctor to wake her up. To do this, go ahead and select the second option. She had multiple lacerations. She hasn't been... I'd say she... And you will be presented with a speech challenge, effectively asking him to go and wake her up. Go ahead and select this option. Oh, very well. I just hope her body can... Was and he should now wake her up. What? Where am I? And Riley should now come and approach you and talk to you. Go ahead and select the first option. Right. Can't remember what- Wait! My men! She will effectively seem worried about her men. And this is where you would effectively kick off the mission. Go ahead and select the second option. I'm sorry. The name's Riley. Yeah. The- Go ahead and select the second option again. That's okay, kid. Don't sweat it. We're guns for hire. The best. This time, select the first option, effectively offering your help to her. We were mapping the Vernon Square part of the... Usually it isn't a... And you can skip a good chunk of the dialogue by simply going to the last option, where you outright ask her to tell you what she needs. My team is trapped on the roof of the Statesman Hotel in Vernon Square, and completely... Their ammo is almost gone. And then just go ahead and say, all right, that you will do it. Whew. I was holding... All I ask is... I also recommend you try and find... Here, let me punch the ammo. And then go ahead and say, I have to go. And that should start the quest, Riley's Rangers. Careful out there. Now go ahead and exit the museum. Riley's Rangers, as Riley said are held up in the Statesman Hotel. Now this is perhaps the hardest part of this whole quest. It is possibly one of the longest quests in the vanilla base game. To get here, we're going to take the absolute long way around. However, if we follow this route, then anyone should be able to follow this path. Now, if you are able to fast travel to any of these locations, then I suggest you go ahead and do that. So we're going to go to the Farragut West Metro Station. We're going to follow the tunnels to the Chevy Chase North. We are then going to go to the Chevy Chase East. We will then end up in Vernon Square Station. And from there, we will actually go into Our Lady of Hope Hospital. And from there, that will give us access to the second floor onwards of the Statesman Hotel. So if you are able to fast travel to any of these locations, I suggest you do that. If not, we will start our journey from the first station, which is the Farragut West Metro Station. Now, if you don't know where that is exactly, 
it is directly east of the super duper mart so let's begin our quest here so as you approach the station just go ahead and go inside now fortunately this is still a very linear path at this point there aren't a lot of forks so all we're going to do is follow the tunnel all the way to the very end so as you approach this doorway just keep on going forward and again as i said it's very linear there are almost no forks as part of this first step of the tunnel so eventually you will emerge at the staircase so go ahead and go up and as you do reach the top head northwest and go forward and at the end you should see another door follow this door and as you follow it through you should now end up at our next destination now that we've reached our first destination, we're effectively going to head south. So again, follow this path. Now, these tunnels are usually flooded with small creatures such as rad roaches. So you really shouldn't have any trouble here. There aren't anything here that you shouldn't be able to deal with regardless of your level however you will encounter some feral ghouls so it is best as i suggested at the beginning of this video that you have some high level gear so as you may have noticed we went up the escalators over there and then we're going to head east and then exit this metro station and by doing so we will get a little bit closer to the statesman hotel so let's go ahead and exit the station. So we have just made it to our first exit point, the Chavi Chase North. So if you've traveled here, great, just follow from here. If not, we will now need to walk to the Chavi Chase East Station. So to do this, as soon as you exit the station, head east. And as you do, you should be able to see the entrance of the station. So we are going to go in through this station and again, similar to the one that we've just been in, there won't be that many forks. It should mostly be very straightforward. So when you're able to go inside and when you're inside, again, follow this path. There really isn't a lot of forks here. So as you sort of emerge, you want to take this second tunnel over there. So the one furthest away from you and you want to head south. Now this will be your first real fork. As you approach this fork, you want to head east. And as you do, just continue to go southeast and you will end up exiting the station more on the ground floor as opposed to going up any escalators. So when you do reach this area, don't go up the escalators. Just stay on the ground floor and go ahead and exit through this particular exit. So you should now be in Vernon Square Station. From here, we're going to walk to Our Lady of Hope Hospital. So as you exit the station, just go immediately east. Now in front of you, you should see a large white building. That is actually the statement's hotel. And the entrance to that is right there in front of us where the cursor is. However, going in here would not actually give us access to the upper floors in this building because the elevator is not working. So to get access to the higher levels of this hotel, we will effectively need to cross this bar over there. And the only way to gain access to that bar is to actually go through this particular place, which is the Lady of Hope Hospital. Once inside, head west and then through this door over here. Keep going west and then turn to your right and go through one of these doors and you will emerge in what looks like a large lobby area with skeletons falling from the ceiling. Keep on going west and you should eventually see a set of stairs. Go up these stairs and at the end of the stairs you should see the access to the second level. Once inside, just follow the corridor down and as you see the sign to the cafeteria, go inside and from the cafeteria head east through this door 
and continue to go east. As you emerge out of the door, go north and then through this door and you should see a set of stairs. Follow the stairs up and then through this door to Vernon Square. And this will now take you to that landing that we saw when we were sort of entering the hospital. So go ahead and cross on this landing. And once you do, you will need to jump down to this second floor here and then enter through this door over here into the Statesman's Hotel. Now this is where things will get a little bit more difficult, but let's try our best. Jump down this broken floor and head out this door. As you do, look to your north and follow the corridor through and you will see a door to your immediate right. Go ahead through this door and follow the corridor through. You will then see a hole in the wall. Go through this hole and you will emerge at another corridor. Look to your west and you will see a set of stairs. Go up these stairs. And if you remember, Riley mentioned a box of ammo by Theo. This is that box. So by speaking to Riley, you can go ahead and collect the contents of this box. Once you've done that, continue to go up the stairs and then go through this door over here. As you do that, go east and then through this door over here to the south and follow the corridor through. And you will see a set of beds as you sort of go in through this area. When you see what looks like a clean sofa, go north into this particular corridor. And we want to get to the other side of this corridor that is currently blocked. So let's go around this wall here. With that, you should see another staircase. Go up this staircase. And you'll emerge in another corridor. This time, go north. And then look to the west and follow this through. And you should see an elevator door right over here that will take you to the restaurant. Go ahead and use it. Once you arrive at the restaurant level, go ahead and look to your west and go through this door over here and follow it through. So as you can see, there are a number of mutants and centers around. So this is a heavily populated area. So it's important that you are well equipped. When you get to this area where the floor has completely caved in, just go down it and go through this door here, which will allow you to emerge at a new corridor. Follow this corridor through to the east and you should now see another set of flooring that's caved in. Go up this set of floors. And as you do, look to your north and go through this door over here and you will emerge in what looks like a number of stairs in some sort of reception-like area. What you want to do is if you look to your east, you will see a set of stairs. You want to go up those stairs. So we can do that by just going through here. Go ahead, go up those stairs. And as you sort of land on this ledge, follow the north path. And you will see another set of stairs going up. Go up those stairs. And you will now be at the hotel roof. Now that we have made it to the roof, head south and we will go and meet up with Riley's Rangers. So even here, there are a ton of super mutants, but fortunately, all of these super mutants should have been taken care of by the Rangers. So as you look around, you'll see another set of stairs, go up these stairs and Riley's Rangers will approach you and talk to you. Hey, you! Get your ass over here before you attract every super mutant in The name's Butcher. I'm the team medic. Okay, now. Go ahead and select the second option. Hang on there. First, I need to know if Riley is okay. I is Go ahead and select the first option, just letting him know that she is okay. That's a relief. I told her she was nuts when she decided to try to sneak out of here. Guess I was... I would have proposed going back the way you So, the ex Now, to use the elevator, this is where you will need to hand him the fission battery that you got. Go ahead and select the first option. 
You're right. What we need is something to power the elevator. On the way up here, I'm pretty certain we passed a maintenance room. Inside was a wrecked protectron. This is where you would hand him the fission battery that you have. Go ahead and select the first option. Fantastic. Get that over to Donovan. As soon as he gets it. Remember, our rally point is our age. Now go ahead and talk to Donovan. Hey there. Don and select the second option. Let me have that thing. Give me a few. As soon as I get. And with that, the elevator should soon be fixed. Now, while that's happening, as a small bonus, this is actually Eugene, the minigun that Brick is carrying. If Brick happens to die now in the middle of the fight, as we will be ambushed by super mutants, you can actually pick up the Eugene from here straight away. Let's go ahead and follow the Rangers. Now that we are finally with the Rangers, you will be ambushed here. So prepare yourself for another fight. Now if you want, you can let Brick die. That way you get another copy of the gun. We will try to do our best to save them all. You won't really get any additional bonus as a result of saving all of them. This is just more of a good feel thing. And that mutant should be the last one. So as you can tell, we went through a good number of floors and areas. So it would have been really easy to get caught up in any of the fights. And this is why it is so important that before you attempt to do this mission, that you actually equip yourself with relevant gear. Now, if we have a look around. Now, in our instance, it looks like Brick died. And I think it probably was me that actually accidentally shot her. However, we can get a copy of the Eugene from here right now. So go ahead and grab it if Brick has died during this particular mission. Now, on the chance that Brick did not die during your quest and survived, we are now going to go to the Rangers HQ to claim our prize, which will be the Eugene. So go ahead and exit. Now, to actually get to the Ranger compound, sadly, it is yet again another bit of a trek. And so we will begin our journey straight from the Stateman's Hotel. As you exit the hotel, just bear west and we're going to go back to the station. But this time we're going to go in through the Freedom entrance. So that would have been the opposite entrance that we saw as we exited the station when we originally arrived. Now again, we will expect to encounter creatures such as mutants and ghouls, but you can use this point to go and buy any additional weapons, ammos, or repair your gear. So go ahead and enter the Freedom Street Station. As you enter the Freedom Station, go ahead and follow this path and go down this set of stairs bearing east. For the most part, it is linear. There aren't that many forks. However, this place is populated by ghouls. So again, make sure that you are able to handle them. So as you sort of emerge in this area, make sure you don't fall down this water, but you want to cross the bridge and head west. And you should now emerge in another corridor. Go down the set of stairs and you will now emerge in a tunnel. From this tunnel, head east. And you will get some radiation poisoning, but it shouldn't be too bad. And then at the end of the tunnel, go to the door you see on your left and follow this all the way through by heading east. As you do, you will see a set of stairs going up to your south. So go up these stairs and you should then enter what looks like the entrance of a metro station. So follow this through and go ahead and exit the metro station. Now, as you exit the station, look to your south and go down this particular path. And as you come to this street intersection, look to your east and follow this road. And at the end of this road will be a manhole to a sewer system. And we will need to go down into that sewer system. So you should be able to see it as you approach the end of the road. When you do, go ahead and go inside. Now, as you enter the sewer system, look to your west and then follow this track here to the south. 
and follow it all the way through to the end. Now this area will also be populated by super mutants. So again, do make sure that you have gear that is able to take care of these. That is why it was important that when I suggested you go and go get your weapons repaired or ammo replenished, it's a really good idea to do that. So we are effectively just following the same tunnel, just sort of shifting from left to right because we have blocks in front of us. But as you sort of walk towards the end of this tunnel, you should see a door to your left. And as you do that, you should then see the exit of the sewer system. And after you have exited the sewer, just follow this back alleyway all the way out. And you should emerge in a street area and then head south. So again, this area will have a lot of super mutants. But as you follow this road, head east and not too far from here will be the Rangers compound where we will be able to claim our copy of Eugene. So continue to head east down this road. Now again, I've said this a few times already, but I don't think it hurts to say if you don't have the gear, don't attempt this. Um, this is a rather difficult mission to do. So as you sort of come to the end of this road, what you want to do is go down this particular edge of the building and you should see this symbol that looks like a clover and two swords. So keep on going down this particular path. And as you sort of go around the corner, you should see this small alleyway again. Follow this through heading east and you should now see the ranger's compound to your left. And if you enter this, so this says Riley's Rangers. Because we've done the quest, go ahead and activate the door in the terminal. And with that, the door should now be unlocked. Now, after all of that, we have finally made it to ranger's compound. We need to go and speak to Riley. Now, it is really important that you don't actually upset her. Don't say anything to upset her or to dishonor if anyone has fallen in battle. Be as polite as you can while still asking for your reward. So your options might be different to mine. So as said, be polite and ask for the reward. You look like you've been through hell. So in this instance, we're going to go with the first option. Nah, it's all been a day's work. You're a cocky little thing, aren't you? Well, as much as I want to hear- If you have lost anyone in the battle, then go ahead and say that you're sorry you lost them. I was afraid that might happen. I should have never left them- I'm sure you're more interested in your reward. Now go ahead and be polite and say yes please, I have much to do. Okay, but at least let me thank you for all you've done. So, for your reward, what'll it be? The Ranger Battle Armor, or one of Brick's miniguns. So go ahead and select the minigun. You got it. Use it well, and take down some more muties with it for us. And with that, you should now finally have Eugene, and as a result, also completed Riley's Rangers. Doors always Eugene is a unique variant of the minigun, and it does two more damage than a normal minigun. Now, two more damage may not seem like a lot, but considering the fact that the minigun fires a higher number of bullets per second, that damage really quickly adds up. It also has 50% more durability than the minigun. That means Eugene will actually last you far longer than the minigun will. From full condition, Eugene will break after it has fired 3,571 rounds. And with that, this has been a very complex and long mission to get our hands on the minigun that also resulted in us completing the Riley's Rangers quest. This was a 100% walkthrough of the Riley's Rangers questline and getting our hands on the minigun.